guys know your favorite order where they are at so we can orbit? Jazz one, I'm sorry, sir, request again. Hello, my name's Chloe. I am conducting an interview for the Miracosta Student Veteran Oral History Service Learning Project. I'm here at the Miracosta Library with my partners Maddie and Danielle, and we are interviewing Tatiana Dodson on her transition into the college community and civilian life after being in the service. During our interview with Tatiana, we found out a lot about her life before, during, and after the military. Though all student veterans struggle with their transition back from service, injured ve veterans face unique challenges going back to school. Ensuring student veterans have a pleasant and comfortable adjustment back into school, they should be provided with on-campus resources, mental health support, and long-term rehabilitation to better their success outside of the military. In many cases, veterans leave the military and feel a sense of purpose is taken from them. After going overseas, training, and fighting, they are pushed back into the civilian life, and in many cases, veterans are unsure of how to compartmentalize and adjust back into the typical U.S. citizen routine. During the military, Tatiana touches on some of her favorite parts, such as the food, the hiking trips they went on during boot camp, and the ability to escape the real world and find purpose. Tatiana's experience was different because she discovered that she had an illness during her time and would prevent her from filling her entire contract and give up on that very purpose she found while enlisted. While Tatiana was navigating her illness, she was able to have support of her family along with support that she had in a program called Wounded Warriors. Join the Wounded Warriors. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's helping you adjust to civilian life? Like, are you supporting you with that? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I stayed in the area because I know how much support I have from them. And I'm able to go there like as many times as I want. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the Wounded Warriors? Yeah. So Wounded Warrior is a unit. It's a it's not really a regular like Marine Corps unit. The mission is to get better into your recovery. You set a recovery plan and you stick with it. You meet with like um, all sorts of people, especially like mental health, but then you have to, your main focus is on either you're going to stay in and figure out how to get back to where you were or you're going to get out. Either you medically retire or you could just get you out on a certain percentage within the VA and DOD side. And it's for injured, ill, and wounded, ill, and injured service members. So for us at least, we had mostly Marine Corps. Um, service members, but there were a couple of Navy service members also, but they have an adaptive sports program within Wounded Warrior that offer like swimming, rowing, cycling, archery, powerlifting, all these other different like adaptive sports, and you just learn to do it so you can, because for a lot of us at least in the Marine Corps, I think we joined for the physical aspect. So I think a lot of the physical stuff like really, like helps us with our mind. So I think that's why it's a big piece there. And I started doing cycling that's where I fell in love with it. Tatiana explained she got food poisoning in Kuwait during her service overseas. It began to get a lot worse and she eventually got medevacs to Germany to receive care. She was on a ventilator and had a fever of 105. She wasn't able to breathe on her own and she was under life-threatening care. After being in the hospital in Germany for two weeks, she finally recovered and was able to go home to see her family. As Tatiana goes on to explain, she did not let her illness stop her from doing the things she loves, such as cycling, powerlifting, and archery. Although Miracosta College has resources such as the Veterans Counseling and Information Department, as well as a few outside events for our fellow student veterans, there should be a new approach to the programs we have available for specifically injured student veterans, such as a recruiting program for student veterans who have already graduated to mentor new student veterans, physical therapy programs on campus, and specific and lenient accommodations. In Wounded Warriors, Tatiana goes on to explain that they have extreme hands-on routine and rehabilitation plans to get them through their recovery. 
to transition back into civilian life or recover to potentially go back into the military. To have that support is what got Tatiana through her illness. In an article on the National Library of Medicine, Christine A. Alinsky pulled qualitative and quantitative statistical data revealing that injured student veterans experience high rates of chronic pain, 92.7% of that being PTSD-related. Despite the large number of student veterans who face chronic pain, student veterans are only utilizing 5.2% of disability resources, 18.8% of counseling services, and 365 of students visit health services. This could potentially be because student veterans aren't feeling as much support as they need in their community, and they need extra mental and physical support from not only the school's administrators and faculty members, but from their peers and classmates as well.